standing by and we're kind of in this this every other pattern we rain and clearing rain clearing where are we headed now yeah we're going back to the rain yeah you can tell with the clouds out there as well so we have been kind of going back and forth like a pendulum and we're going to be back into the rain for a little bit and then well, we may go the other direction. We'll talk more about that here in just one second. Some of the weather cameras, you can see the clouds streaming on in. We were looking over Portland earlier, thickening up just a little bit there. And you can see it coming out of our McMinnville camera as well. Mount Hood Meadow is even a bit cloudy in Lincoln City. So these are just the first cues in the signs that we have a change coming in our direction. It's going to be some rain and that will arrive, but not tonight. We're actually going to hold off for our Wednesday. Let's go ahead and zoom on into that McMinnville camera. This is out of our Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum camera that we just kicked off and showed yesterday for the first time. We had a beautiful sunset tonight. A few more clouds. We can see the coast range there in the distance as we look off towards the west and uh, to the south a little bit. But this is just a spectacular uh, new view that we have that we will show from here on out and, and uh, it's going to be really helpful for us. All right, recent sky cover has just been very gloomy and cloudy. In fact, today, the first part of the day where we had some sunshine was one of the nicest moments that we've had so far this month. And then going back to yesterday, we had some sun breaks too. So uh, we get very few of those in November. In fact, check out the November cloud average. Usually we have about three clear days if we're lucky, where we bring in some sunshine. About four days out of the month, we get you know partly cloudy days, kind of similar to what we had today. And then the other 23 are typically cloudy and gloomy. So November is usually a little gray for us. And we'll get back to that forecast for tomorrow if you're missing out on that just a little bit. All right, area of low pressure right here. It's going to continue to move in this direction. What's it going to do? It's going to pull the clouds with it. It's going to bring the moisture with it. And that's what's going to, uh, well, at least bring the rain for us as we go into tomorrow. In the meantime, Cloudcast is going to show how overcast it is. I'm just going to zoom through the time. Uh, because not much changes until we get to Friday and then maybe we start seeing some sun breaks on Friday afternoon right before sunset. But the next uh, 24 hours plus are going to be a bit gray out there. Futurecast will help show the precipitation now. We get into the overnight hours. We're still dry. Here's 9 a.m. So we'll pause it there. There may be some very light rain out towards the Oregon coast, especially especially down towards Newport and Florence and maybe extending into the southern Willamette Valley. Eventually reaching areas of Portland, though, more so in the evening hours tomorrow. So I think a good chunk of the day tomorrow is probably going to be pretty dry, especially before noon. We get to the second part of the day, though. Notice that we have heavy rain back up into areas of Washington where they're finally recovering a little bit. They'll be seeing more rain and then some snowfall there for the Washington Cascades. What's the deal, though, for Oregon? Well, I think we'll probably see some snowfall in the higher elevations, close to maybe six, 7,000 feet. I believe we'll be above the passes, though, and then we'll have to watch maybe early Friday morning down to the south for maybe some snowfall down to the passes. But for the most part, we shouldn't see snowy passes as we kind of wrap up the week. The weekend should dry on out, and uh, I think Saturday and Sunday, both days, we'll probably see uh, no rain maybe early Saturday morning. All right, so for tomorrow, I have some 40s and 50s. Again, the rain will begin later in the day. We'll call it 51 degrees, some 40s there for the gorge. That's more so the Dalles. And uh, over towards the eastern side of the state, those temperatures in the mid 40s. So right around average, we should be about 50 degrees. And look at the seven day forecast. I pretty much have lower 50s each and every day as we go through the week, uh, for the exception of Saturday, where we get that extra bump, 53. How about that? Yeah, look at that. How about yeah. that? I don't have to find my scraper like this morning. Like, what did I do with my scraper? Oh, yeah. you have one? Oh, it was in my car. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's, that is handy this time of the year. It totally yes. is. Yeah. Okay. That's how, it, that's how it goes. All right. Thanks, Joseph.